One of the easiest ways to actually get the particles to emit at the top of the hill is just to point the grid straight down. and let it take over from there. So with that, I might be able to actually add a few more particles in. So I'll open up the ice tree again, navigate to the emit from surface compound, and start by raising the number of particles. Again, once you raise them too high, you do tend to get uh, a spreading of particles. So I'm guessing I might be able to get away with 20 of them. Let's try that again, so I can raise that count a little higher. If I open up the ice tree once again, on the bounce off surface compound, the particles really do have uh, a little too much friction. They're sticking a little too much to the grid. So what I'm actually going to do here is lower the overall friction so that when they bounce, they continue to roll or continue to move. I can also set the particles to use the offset distance instead if I'm getting some strange penetration. So in this case they are still finding some uh, some ground that they get stuck on here, so I need to keep tuning that. So I might even increase the bounce factor so that they can bounce a little bit more, and I'll even increase the randomness angle. We still haven't instanced our objects onto the particles yet. So the particles are bouncing uh, a little more, perhaps a little too much for my liking. So we'll just take our grid and we'll increase the slope switch back to global mode and again just adjust how the particles are actually uh, actually emitting there. So when we eventually look at our grid we're starting to get a, a more interesting looking effect as these boulders careen down the uh, around the mountain. So of course I'm going to have to keep on adjusting the bounce factor. Uh, it was a little bit much. So the particles get emitted. And now we're getting the uh, effect of all of the, the objects rolling down the hill. So next let's go in and replace the particles with our instances. When it comes to working with instances, we need to actually set a group of objects and then link to that group of objects through ice. So if I look up the instance shape node, I can bring it into my graph and I can establish at birth the particle shape. And of course I can pick objects or I can pick from a group of objects. So I'm going to actually pick my three rocks and I'm going to place them into a group Let's give the group a name, Rock Group. And I'll point the instance shape to the group of objects. So in my Explorer, pick that Rock Group. Now, I don't have to deal with a hierarchy of objects, but I do need to pick from an index of objects. And if I open up the group, I have indexes 0 through 2, one, 0, 1, and 2 as the items in my rock group. So when I index into that group of objects, I need to pick a random number between 0 and 2. So I need to randomize the index. Randomize by range. I'll of course use the polymorphic capabilities of the randomize compound. And I'll set the minimum value to 0 and the maximum value to 2. So now when I hit play, we actually get our, our real rocks being emitted. And the only problem there is that they are absolutely massive. So the next thing we need to focus on is controlling the size of our instances.